Hello, and welcome to the third video in our series highlighting the new functionality in Pit Stop 2018. This new functionality is something we think will be very well received by our Pit Stop Pro users. The feedback from our alpha testers has been excellent, and we are very excited about this new feature. Action lists are a very powerful functionality within Pit Stop Pro, but there is a steep learning curve before you can get the most out of them. Understanding them and diagnosing why something is not working can be quite challenging. Until now. With Pit Stop 2018, there is a new feature that we call the Action List Visualizer. This allows Pit Stop users to actually see what an action list is doing as it processes. This will greatly assist in understanding and troubleshooting. Let's show you how it works. Here I have a sample PDF file and I want to run an action list on it. The first step is to open the action list. Next, highlight the new icon. This is how you enter the action list visualizer mode. You will notice that we now have a completely new tool set available. Now, we will manually step through the action list and see what it does. You can see in the PDF that we have some content highlighted in blue. This shows you the result of the select text segments action. We now step again and we see the results of the select fill color action, but you can also see some elements are highlighted in purple and some in green and some items in both purple and green. These colors represent the same colors that are in the action list editor. These are important as they show which elements are selected by the different actions. As we step further, you now see the results of the AND operator. The AND, OR, and NOT operators are something that are very often a source of confusion, so the fact that you can actually see what's going on is really going to help with understanding these functions. If you now look at the PDF, you can see that the green and purple have disappeared, and content is highlighted in blue. What we are looking at here is the result of the SELECT TEXT, the SELECT FILL, and the AND operator. So you can clearly see here what the combination of actions is selecting and what it isn't. While I am in visualizer mode, I can also use other tools such as the Acrobat Output Preview and the InFocus Inspector. Here I'm going to use the Inspector to see why all of my text was not selected. So this first text is RGB black, the second is gray with an attached ICC profile, and the third is a separation black spot color. You see, as I step further through the action list, that these individual elements are selected with an OR operator, and then once they are all selected, the text is changed to a spot color. We hope that's given you a preview on how this feature works and how valuable it will be in your workflow creation process. I'm now going to show you another part of this new functionality. I can run this action list and see the steps that are taken. As the action list runs, you can see I have a pause button, so I can pause and restart the action list at will. I can also set breakpoints in the visualizer, so the action list runs to a certain point and then waits for human intervention. This is very useful when I want to focus only on a certain part of an action list. We are very excited about this new feature and we think it's going to be a game changer in the creation and use of action lists in our products. We really hope you get a lot of value from this new functionality.